you just thought it was a cute fuzzy caterpillar. Concerns tonight over a certain type of caterpillar. Bees or hornets may sting you while defending themselves. Yeah, but one woman has found from firsthand experience that a much slower insect can lead to some painful results. She showed me the animal today and I talked with her about it as well. You're looking at a stinging hair caterpillar in a test tube moving slowly. Pretty amazing it's still alive. Yeah, I'm th I can't believe it is. I mean, it's been in there for a week with no, no lid off. Leslie Lewis caught this crawler in her yard. It's similar to one which stung her seven-year-old son. He picked it up and carried it around for a bit. It dropped on his shirt, and within minutes, the first grader started complaining about being itchy. When I pulled up the shirt, I noticed like almost clear spines going through the shirt. And then when I took off his shirt, I noticed that they were just sticking in his stomach. He had been stung through the shirt. Leslie tried pulling the spines out, but the child got a rash within 10 minutes. These are pictures she took. When the bumps and rash wouldn't go away, she took them to the ER. After we left the ER, we got a cream. The cream didn't really do very much, so I followed up with a regular pediatrician, and he recommended going to see the dermatologist. The boy is okay. He still has a rash and scarring bumps left over from the stings. What I've learned is that the caterpillar is capable of causing severe stings. The hairs are connected to poison sacs and they inject toxins. The caterpillars can be either white or yellow. After going to three doctors, Leslie has had enough. Her thought is just to leave nature alone. Very surprised. I would not recommend playing with cute little fuzzy caterpillars. So don't pick one up, no matter if it's white, yellow, or even orange and black. Now, if you get stung, use some tape to pull out some of those broken spines, then wash the area to remove some of the venom.